If you are about to hop on one of these ferries to head over to Block Island for a long weekend, this detection is no cause for alarm. Rather, it has scientists excited about studying the population of sharks that inhabit the island shores. Last year we got a couple of white sharks and this year we've already got four. John Dodd called the detection of four great white sharks on the coast of Black Island an exciting early return. The detection comes during year two of a five year study to determine the species of sharks and the amount that they travel through or inhabit the coast of the island. The sharks were detected in June, traveling west to east along the southern part of the island. They spanned a six and a half mile stretch. What we don't know yet is if they just go there and continue to go east towards the Cape or if they're going to actually circumnavigate or spend more time there. They use acoustic receivers to detect tagged sharks. One of those great whites detected happened to be one Dodd tagged himself off the coast of the Carolinas over a year ago. It's kind of fun to say, holy cow, what's the likelihood of that? It's not very high. But that was the probably the most special detection of this particular set of data. Residents and tourists of the area are no strangers to the sharks. Town officials say the beaches are still open, and that the spottings were not near any of the busier beaches along the northern half of the island. You know, I heard stories in the past, and you know, big sharks, you know all these tales, but uh, I'm not too scared. You know, I don't go too far out. Nicholas Mignoli makes a trip out to the island every year with family and friends. All that is on his mind is some better weather. Uh, where I was from, uh, it was pouring rain, so, you know, it looks like a little bit of an overcast today, but uh, hopefully tomorrow will bring some better, better weather. Dodd says that they'll check the arrays again in a couple of weeks to see if those sharks have stayed in the area or moved on to the Cape or elsewhere. He also says that these detections don't pose any greater or lesser risk to anybody enjoying the island shores. In New London, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.